Hello, my name is Toby Thompson. I'm here with Dr. John Towers, Senior Lecturer in Supply Chain Management here at Cranfield. John, we're talking about supervision and what supervision is about here at Cranfield. How would you describe Cranfield's attitude towards supervision? Toby, everything, everything flows from attitudes, attitudes towards the students that the School of Management really stresses. The expectation is that a student, when we take them onto the DBA programme, will finish. So therefore we provide total support for them. That starts off with the selection of the supervisor. So we match the supervisor very closely with the student in terms of interests and expectations. We also have a very rigorous process of uh, panel meetings where the student's progress is reviewed very frequently and appropriate feedback given to the student. Sounds quite heavy. Is it more of an assessment or is it more being critical about what they're doing? How would you describe that relationship? Toby, I think the word is critical friend. I think um, the student can expect support in a friendly manner from the supervisor and at the panel meetings. Yes, on the other hand, they can be expected to be challenged, particularly the robustness of their arguments they're putting forward, because that's critical for a DBA doctorate that they can defend the logicality of the arguments they're putting forward. So you're providing support, but you're saying think about it more deeply. And the fact that you have three supervisors, why three? What's the benefit of having three? The benefit of having three is that the student gets their work assessed from three perspectives. So the supervisor is a prime um, assessor, but then there is, say, a method um, person on the, on the panel, the, somebody who knows about the method that the students like to be using, whether it's quantitative or qualitative. Then there's somebody else on the panel who is interested in their research topic and can give advice, say, on the relevant literature, etc. So they're triply supported, as it were. Yeah, triply In supported. terms of Alice, then, how did that work out with Alice? What was the relationship there, and how did she work through her DBA? Alice was a fantastic student, perhaps one of the most motivated students I've ever had in my career at Cranfield. Um, dedicated, highly motivated, with a strong urge to, to succeed. So you never fell out? No, never fell out. Um, I was very critical of sometimes of Alice, and she always took us on board, always came back, um, sometimes agreeing with me, sometimes disagreeing with me, but at the end of the day we'd agree this was the way forward. So what she can expect from you is you know her sub subject intimately, you know where she's trying to head to, you know the, the, all the aspects of her research field. Alice's research field was something that's very dear to me, um, economic appraisal of transport systems, so I had an interest in it, but the point I would like to make is that Alice drove the process, I didn't drive the process. I was there to support Alice and to guide her to making what she wanted to do into a DBA. So typically she'd submit something and you would then give her feedback straight away on how that was, how you felt it, it worked or didn't work? Yeah, she would write to me a, a, a paper, say prior to the review panel. I would then comment on it in my famous brown ink, send it back to her, scan it and send it back to her. We'd then have a telephone conversation, maybe two or three times prior to the panel meeting. She lived in Milton Keynes, so sometimes I'd go and see her. We would then agree um, on what needed to be done, and then it would be brought forward to the panel meeting. So the relationship sounds something like a marriage, because they know that you know their subject area, you know them very well, there's a long period in, in duration in terms that you, you're with them. Is that fair to say? Exactly. I couldn't use the words better myself. At the end of the day, the supervisor is the only person will probably fully understand and be interested in that student's work. They've probably bored their husband or wife or whoever it is, so they're the, you're the only person there who, who can guide them, help them and support them. And assumingly, assumingly you're learning something too from them and from the, their research. It's not just them drawing oh, it out of you. It's a two-way process, an immensely rewarding process, um, learning from about their research, how to do it. And in guiding them, you learn yourself. And I learned an awful lot from Alice and the work she did. John, thank you very much. Thank you.